Hello and welcome back to Cemetery Scout. Today we are out in Burrowville, Rhode Island, doing a quick roundup of maybe seven or eight smaller cemeteries that I didn't think deserved a full length video for whatever reason. First one is Eddie Aldrich Lot. Let's check it out. So like I said, these are all gonna be cemeteries that I just didn't think I uh, wanted to do a full length video for. In the case of this one, it's just cause it has a lot of recent burials and I try to avoid shoving my camera up into a grave of somebody who still has living relatives. All right, we made it. Like I said, I mostly just wanted to show you this one because I thought it was pretty, but I did want to mention something pretty cool, which is that a lot of the all riches buried here actually had their headstones put up decades after their death by Emmeline E. Salisbury, who is buried right here. I guess she noticed that a lot of her distant relatives didn't have headstones up and decided to fix that. Thanks, Emmeline. All right, next up is right here at the Prouty Bishop lot. Only a few people buried in here and I couldn't find much info about them. So let's go take a peek before we move on. Something charming about these ones that are just a few graves off the side of the road. Here is a beautiful maple tree on the yard of this beautiful Baptist church. And just down the road from that church and that beautiful maple tree is the Elder William Bowen lot. And in the Elder William Bowen lot is William Bowen, the first pastor of the old Baptist church here in Burrowville next cemetery. Damn, this maple tree is so pretty though. <laughs> next up, we got this guy here, the Samuel Lee lot. And there's Mr. Lee. I like how thorough the enclosure is on this one. I'm just guessing because I don't know for sure, but I think it must have been built relatively recently considering it looks like it's involving concrete. Not much else to say about this one. I did read that the famous New England gun maker, Welcome Matthewson, may have possibly been buried here, but I don't see a headstone anywhere, so we might have to get to him later. Next up is the Harrisville Cemetery here. It's got a whole ton of recent graves, so I don't want to do a full video on it, but it's really pretty. So let's just do a quick walkthrough. I dig this little annex they got over here.
next up are Sally and Smith Aldrich, a married couple that died in the late 1880s. There they are, buried off the side of this state highway. Nice to meet you guys. Bye!